नमस्कार वेलकम टू वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेयर वी विल सी व्हाट वाज़ द रियलाइज्ड वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वीक एंड व्हाट इज द वेदर फोरकास्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स इफ यू लुक इन टू द मानसून सीजनल रेनफॉल टिल टुडे देन द होल इंडिया रिसीव नॉर्मल टू एक्सेस रेनफॉल एक्सेप्ट द इंडो गैंजेटिक प्लेन्स मेनली ओवर दी पंजाब उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार गैंजेटिक वेस्ट बंगाल एंड नागालैंड मणिपुर मिजोरम एंड त्रिपुरा एंड हैंस द सेंट्रल एंड साउथ इंडिया गॉट द गुड रेनफॉल हाउ एवर द इंडो गैंजेटिक प्लेन्स रिसीव द लेसर रेनफॉल इन द राइट हैंड साइड पिक्चर वी कैन सी दिस रेड कलर डिपिक्स द एरिया वेयर द रेनफॉल वॉज द डिफिशियंट इन दिस मानसून सीजन टिल टूडे दैट इज ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर सो एज वी कैन सी इन द उत्तर प्रदेश Bihar, Jharkhand, Gangetic West Bengal and Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram and Tripura received the deficient rainfall. Uh, however, over the Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, parts of East India, parts of North East India and all along the west coast received the normal rainfall and the remaining parts of the country received the above normal rainfall. And uh, all India cumulative rainfall till today Uh, it was 890.7 mm which is the 7% above normal and this is the observed rainfall uh, of the entire monsoon season till today of the uh, uh, all four homogeneous regions number 1 which is the northwest india which received the 1% above normal rainfall and east and northeast india received the 17% lesser rainfall as compared to the its a normal rainfall Central India received the 19% above normal rainfall, and South Peninsular India received the 22% above normal rainfall. If you look into the realized weather during last week, that is from the 23rd of September to 28th of September. So on 23rd of September, our the main chief synoptic features was one is the one disturb western disturbance, which lies over the Afghanistan. area as a trough in middle tropospheric levels and a cyclonic circulation lies over the northwest madhya pradesh in uh, which extends up to the middle tropospheric levels and a trough is also running from this cyclonic circulation over northwest mp up to the east central bay of bengal across the southeast mp chatisgarh and odisha in the right hand side this is the observed rainfall so as we can see this the yellow color dot represents the very heavy rainfall that is the rainfall more than 12 cm and red color dot represents the extremely heavy rainfall means the rainfall more than 20 cm rainfall and yellow color depicts the heavy rainfall that is rainfall more than 6 cm so as we can see the uh, because of the cyclonic circulation over the northwest mp and neighborhood area on 23rd of september mainly the haryana and adjoining areas of the north east rajasthan and west uttar pradesh received the very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places and the adjoining areas received the heavy rainfall on that day and the, uh, however along the west coast parts of the central india east india and northeast india received the light to moderate rainfall on 24th of august the western disturbance uh, which lies over the eastern parts of the afghanistan and the cyclonic circulation lies over the north east rajasthan and a fresh cyclonic circulation which has developed over the west central and adjoining the northwest bay of bengal and a trough is running from the cyclonic circulation over northeast rajasthan up to the north chhattisgarh across the north mp and adjoining southeast up in the right hand side picture again we can see on 24th of september very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall was reported over the punjab parts of northwest uttar pradesh parts of uttarakhand and haryana and isolated heavy rainfall was observed over the himachal pradesh uttarakhand Haryana West Uttar Pradesh and Northeast Rajasthan and sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim and in the East Uttar Pradesh Bihar parts of East India Central India all along the west coast and remaining parts of the North East India received the light to moderate rainfall on 25th of September uh, under the influence of the cyclonic circulation uh, over the Northeast Rajasthan mainly the a, a low pressure area has formed over the Punjab and which basically lies over the north punjab and neighborhood area on 25th of september and the trough is also running from this punjab up to the bihar across the haryana and uttar pradesh 
and the western disturbance lies over the east afghanistan and adjoining pakistan and a cyclonic circulation also lies over the west central and adjoining northwest bay of bengal in the right hand side again we can see the observed rainfall so on 25th of september the isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall reported at one or two places over the east uttar pradesh uttarakhand and himachal pradesh and isolated heavy rainfall occurred over the punjab himachal pradesh northern parts of haryana tamil nadu and uh, light to moderate rainfall was reported over the parts of east and northeast india over the uh, south peninsular india and over the maharashtra state however the rajasthan was the dry on 25th of september similarly on 26th of september that low pressure area which lies over the punjab has become less marked and the cyclonic circulation lies over the northern part, central parts of the pakistan and the western disturbance further moved slightly eastward and today uh, on um, means on 26th of september it lies over the uh, northern parts of pakistan as a trough and in the right hand side picture again we can see from the 26th of september the rainfall has decreased over the entire central and north india and so the only light rainfall was received over the parts of north and adjoining central india on 26th of september and there was the light to moderate rainfall was recorded at few places over the south peninsular india and adjoining east india similarly on 27th of september uh, the a cyclonic circulation over the central pakistan it again persisted over the same area and the cyclonic circulation over the west central adjoining northwest area uh, bay of bengal it lies over the northwest bay of bengal and in the right hand side again there is a subdued rainfall activity over the entire northwest india and south peninsular india and there is a light to moderate rainfall was recorded at a few places over the uh east india north east india and some northern parts of the south peninsular india and on 28th of september a cyclonic circulation lies over the west central uh, north and uh, adjoining northwest bay of bengal and trough is also running from this cyclonic circulation up to the east central bay of bengal across the central bay of bengal and in rainfall amount wise there was again the subdued rainfall activity over the entire northwest india and there was isolated heavy rainfall was recorded over the rayal seema coastal, coastal and pradesh and uh, telangana and light to moderate rainfall was also recorded over the adjoining areas that is the odisha chatisgarh bidharva marathwada madhya maharashtra konkan and goa north indian karnataka and tamil nadu and on uh, if we look into the cumulative rainfall of the previous week that is during the 22nd of september to 29th of september so the mainly because of the cyclonic circulation over the northwest rajasthan and its movement towards the north punjab across the northeast rajasthan haryana and this uh, southern parts of punjab there was a uh, very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall was recorded one or two days over the punjab haryana west uttar pradesh delhi and uttarakhand and himachal pradesh and isolated heavy rainfall was recorded over the adjoining areas and Uh, during the previous week isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall was also recorded two to three days over the sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim and arunachal pradesh and one or two days heavy rainfall was recorded over the parts of south peninsular india and in the remaining areas remaining days of the week only light to moderate rainfall was recorded over the country in the right hand side we can see in the previous week there was the subdued rainfall activity over the tamil nadu konkan goa coastal karnataka marathwada Telangana coastal Andhra Pradesh Odisha Bihar Jharkhand and parts of northeast India and there was the normal to above normal rainfall over the entire northwest India because of that cyclonic circulation which moved uh, from the northeast MP up to the central parts of Pakistan across the northwest MP northeast Rajasthan Haryana and Punjab this is the today's that is uh, main key synoptic feature so today Uh, that is on 29th of september a cyclonic circulation lies over the west uttar pradesh in the lower and middle tropospheric levels and another cyclonic circulation which lies over the west central bay of bengal of andhra pradesh coast in lower tropospheric levels and in lower tropos- tropospheric levels and east west trap is also running from south interior karnataka up to the west central bay of bengal across the rayal seema uh, if we uh, look at the withdrawal of the southwest monsoon then the withdrawal of uh, southwest monsoon has further withdrawn on today that is 29th of september from entire punjab chandigarh some parts of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh west uttar pradesh and haryana 
and monsoon has withdrawn from the entire delhi some more parts of rajasthan and the withdrawal line of the southeast monsoon passes through the jammu una chandigarh karnal bagpat delhi alwar jodhpur and nalia in the right hand side picture this blue color line basically represents the actual withdrawal of the monsoon so which can be seen on today the monsoon has withdrawn some parts of the rajasthan entire punjab haryana delhi some parts of the west uttar pradesh and jammu division and the red color line represents the normal dates of the withdrawal of southwest monsoon from the country and there is also likelihood of the formation of a cyclonic circulation over north and adjoining central bay of bengal around 1st october this is the weather forecast and weather warning for the next 5 days so on today that is 29th of september there is a isolated a uh, very heavy rainfall is likely over the telangana coastal andhra pradesh and rayalaseema so orange color warning is given for the telangana coastal andhra pradesh and rayalaseema for today and there is also possibility of isolated heavy rainfall over mad maharashtra interior karnataka tamil nadu and odisha so the yellow color warning is given for all those areas and there is also squally weather with wind speed reaching 45 to 55 gusting to 65 kmph very likely over the southwest bay bengal along and off coastal and pradesh and tamil nadu coast and south east bay of bengal and along and off and one sea so fishermen are advised not to venture into those areas during next 24 hours on tomorrow that is 30th september there is a uh, isolated heavy rainfall is likely over the madhya maharashtra maratwada interior karnataka telangana rayalaseema and coastal and pradesh so yellow color warning is given for all those areas and there is also possibility of isolated heavy rainfall over andaman and nicobar islands on 1st of october there is a uh, isolated heavy rainfall is likely over mizoram odisha and coastal and pradesh and so yellow color warning is given for all those areas and uh, light thunderstorm and lightning is also likely over the parts of north east india and parts of north east india on 1st of october on 2nd october there is a possibility of isolated heavy rainfall over assam and meghalaya mizoram and tripura gangetic west bengal and odisha and yellow color warning is again given for all those areas on 3rd october there will there is a possibility of isolated heavy rainfall over assam and meghalaya mizoram and tripura gangetic west bengal jharkhand and odisha and thunderstorm and lightning activity is also likely over east uttar pradesh bihar east madhya pradesh vidarbha and chatisgarh and jharkhand so the yellow color warning for is given for all those area in the left hand side we can see the rainfall distribution forecast for the next 5 days which is given in the tabular for form as we can see uh, there will be the light to moderate rainfall at many places over the coastal karnataka interior karnataka during next 5 days over the coastal and pradesh telangana and rayalaseema during next 3 days and thereafter there is a reduction in the rainfall activity and there is also possibility of isolated heavy, isolated light rainfall activity over the jammu kashmir during next 3 days over the rajasthan during next 2 days over the madhya pradesh and gujarat state during next 5 days and there is a possibility of isolated to uh, light to moderate rainfall over the uh, east india north east india and andaman nicobar islands during next 3 days and thereafter there will be slight increase in rainfall activity over the region and if you look into the weather forecast for next two weeks then in the week 1 that is from the 30th september to 6th of october as we can see in the right hand side picture that is the rainfall anomaly for the week 1 and week 2 so in the week 1 uh, rainfall activity will be normal to above normal over parts of the south peninsular india mainly over the interior karnataka Uh, telangana rayalaseema coastal and pradesh and northern parts of tamil nadu and coastal karnataka and over the andaman nicobar islands and over the jharkhand and extreme northern parts of the north northern parts of the coastal odisha and uh, there will be the deficient rainfall activity over the parts of northeast india parts of the himachal pradesh and jammu and kashmir and in the remaining parts of the country there will be the normal rainfall activity in the week 1 and there is also likelihood of the emergence of a cyclonic circulation over the central and adjoining north bay of bengal during first half of the week with west northwestwards movement and there is a there will not be any significant intensification in this cyclonic circulation and in the week 2 that is during the 7th to 13th of october there is a again 
पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन ओवर द ईस्ट सेंट्रल बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड एट ज्वाइनिंग नॉर्थ एंड वन सी विद द लो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इट्स फॉर देयर इंटेंसिफिकेशन एंड इट विल मूव एज ए साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन इट्स सेल्फ अलॉन्ग टूवर्ड्स द वेस्ट नॉर्थ वेस्ट वर्ड्स डायरेक्शन एंड इन द वीक टू देर विल बी द एब नॉर्मल रेनफॉल एक्टिविटीज लाइकली ओवर द पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ India parts of east india and parts of northeast india and also along the west coast and the rainfall activity is likely to be normal to below normal over remaining parts of the country in the week 2 you can download the mausam app for the location specific forecast and warning you can download the damini app for the lightning alert and meghu app for the agro advisory services you can follow us on our facebook page our twitter page and our youtube channel for more detailed weather information in your area thank you